Hey guys, welcome back to Exit 45 Restorations, and today we're gonna paint the boat. Um, so, you know, if you've uh, watched a couple of the past episodes where I've uh, gone through, got the engine running, uh, we did the lower end on it, uh, new prop, all that. So now that we're done with all the mechanical work, he sent me paint. <laughs> Now I gotta figure out, because I, I really don't have a clue. Uh, again, I've never owned a boat. How do I paint it? How do I get it off the trailer? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm gonna try. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Uh, I'll, I'll figure it out as I go, I guess. So stay tuned, it's gonna be good. <laughs> if you guys watched my, uh, video where I'm stripping down to C C10 and I pull the Corvette out of the shop. Yeah, I that's how I'm going to do this one. I don't know how else to do it. I'm going to jack it up, get it up above that trailer, slide my uh, board across here, and then I'll figure out the front end when I get there. Uh, and I should be able to hopefully just pull the trailer right out from underneath this thing, get up underneath there, get it sanded, painted, bring it back down on the trailer just just as simple as that <laughs> all right let's get it done let's i don't know i don't have anything else let's give it a go All right, let's try that. A little bit more. All right, let's, let's bring it down and see what we got. It worked. I'm gonna patent this and sell it. Maybe Harbor Freight will sell it. I don't know. Okay, we gotta get the front. Got everything kind of staged and ready. I just gotta lift it up a little bit higher. It's off the trailer now and pretty stable. So I think what we'll do is we gotta get it high enough just to slide this under. I know, I know, you don't have to say it. I know, I'm pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. Let me let her down. All right, so I gotta get, gotta get these. Uh 
Uh-oh. Well, I thought I was gonna pull this trailer out from underneath it so I could, uh, you know, have a little bit more room to work in, but nope. We got uh, right here, that's way too high to get up underneath my, my contraption over here. And I also noticed that the uh, runners here on the trailer are also higher than that. I would have to lift the boat up quite a bit more and I'm just not willing to go there. I'm, you know, you know when you feel like you've pushed your luck a little bit, just a little bit too far, and you just don't want to try it again. That's where I'm at. So we're gonna leave it like it is. Trailer will stay underneath it, and I should be able to work around it, uh, sanding and painting. That shouldn't shouldn't be a problem. So trailer stays. All right, I'll put this back on. Well, here you go. There we go. You can see we got the trailer and the boat separated so I can get in there and sand everything down. It's all sitting pretty stable. I don't have to worry about that. Still got the uh, strap hooked to it just to keep it from sliding anyway. So... I think we're good so I think the next step now will be to start sanding We've got lots of sanding to do get it prepped for paint not like a car this is gonna go pretty quick all right let me get my stuff all right so we're gonna start getting this sanded down uh, and then we'll wash it and all that stuff but first we got to get we got to get this all scuffed down really good so just farted green all over me look at it dang flew out at me okay all right I can fight back I'll go get a mask <laughs> Okay guys, so I've, I've got the uh, the top layer, the part you can see anyways, the, the easy part. Let me show you where I'm at, I'll just walk you around it real quick, but you, you guys saw it. All right, so you can see right there, I just got this band all the way around. I gotta get up underneath there a little bit, all that area. I just gotta go around, I got some of it, I didn't get all of it, but this stuff's getting in my eyes, I'm sweating and my eyes are burning, so I'm, I'm pretty much done. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's roughing up good. Okay guys, take a look underneath, got it all sanded down and I've hosed it all off real good. I should be ready to paint this thing. Yep, just let it dry good and uh, we'll start painting. Alright, so let's, uh, let's see if we can get a couple of these things out of our way. All right, let's uh, let's see what we can do. Woohoo! 
All right, got one. Ah. Ah. All right, we got that. There you go. Got both sides as clear as I can get them. I cannot get that to come loose, and I am not gonna fret over it. All right, getting their wipe down. Hey guys, so I just found a couple of spots up here. Let me see if I can get you in a little bit better. You can see them. Let's see right here. Some damage. It's really minor. So I got some uh, short strand fiber mixed up here. I'm gonna go ahead and patch that real quick and see if we can't, you know, get that in better shape. All right, let's see if we can't get this sanded down. All right, we're good under here. I just got one more spot on the outside here that I need to get, but otherwise we're good underneath here. Okay, and we just had a little uh, slight damage just on this corner. So I just wanted to touch that up a little bit just to, you know, clean it up. There you go. A little bit of patching is done. All right, we got some primer on. All the way around and underneath, I'm finished. I didn't feel like you guys really wanted to watch me put primer on this thing, but. Okay, we're primered. And uh, we'll get ready to paint it. Not today, but we're gonna paint it here uh, next day or so. Okay guys, so I went ahead and went underneath to make some small repairs. I got this uh, like a gel coat, I guess it is. I'm not really sure. Again, I know nothing about boats. Uh, I talked with my son and he sent me all this stuff. And so he said, this is, it's, it's like to repair the undercoat, or the, you know, the coating on the boat, small dings and little things like that. So I, I made the big repair. There were some holes in it, you know, just uh, along that one ridge. I showed you guys that. But uh, anyway, we got this here, and this is just small dings, little things. So I went ahead and got underneath there where all the little dings were, fixed it up. So we'll, uh, we'll see how it does. But uh, I got paints mixed, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and start working on the, the sides of the boat before I get underneath it, before it gets hot. Underneath the boat's not so hot. All right, here we go. We're going to do a little bit of... Trimming with the shark white. Looks great to me. Well, there you go. There's coat one around the band. At least the part you can see. I haven't gone underneath yet. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't go on. I don't, it's not going on like I thought it would. Uh, you know, I thought it would go on a little better and flow out a little better. But it's not really uh, smoothing out really good. Maybe it's just because it's the first coat. But it did not smooth out very well. It's just uh, not really sure. Just didn't flow out very well. It's supposed to, you know, from what I've seen about it, it's supposed to uh, flow out really nice, smooth out really nice, you know, in a couple coats, two, three coats, and you have a nice glossy, nice smooth finish. But this first coat's a bit rough. Feels like, you know, I just primed it or something, but I don't know. We'll keep going. I, I don't really know. All right, so I got coat. I got coat uh, two on the back here, and it looks a lot better. 
it's not going to look like what I expected it to look like. I was expecting a shiny finish, like what was on there. But this is like, uh, I guess, an anti-fouling paint. And it's designed to wear. As you use the boat, it'll just wear a little bit here, a little bit there. And it keeps things from adhering to the uh, boat hull, I guess. Uh, so it's like a, every couple of years with this kind of paint. I don't know if I'd have gone this route. I think maybe looking into it now, I probably would have gone this side here. I haven't uh, put a second coat on yet. It's I know the it's so bright out here and it's shadowed underneath there, so it's really hard for you guys to see. The whole underside of this boat is really shadowed, but it's not very smooth. Uh, it really just feels it feels like the you know the walls in your house, you know. <laughs> Uh, but I think that's how it's supposed to be. I did some more research just to try to figure out what's going on with this stuff. I mean, it looks fine. You know, I I don't have any problem with it. But I think it's more of an underside of the boat paint than it is the side of the boat. I think the side you probably would hit with something else, something a little bit more glossy. You guys are probably wondering, why is he scuffing down a freshly painted boat? <laughs> Well, I am scuffing this down because this isn't really the right paint for this boat. Uh, you know, he got, the, he got a paint that's for boats that sit in the water a lot, anti-fouling paint. I'm not really sure that's the best for this boat. Um, it looks basically like, you know, it's just been primered that's kind of how this finish is but it looks to me like a lot of this paint is used for bigger boats that sit in the water and and really the water line and down um is what this stuff is used for but i don't believe it's a paint that we need for this particular type of boat it's going to go in the water play with it it's going to go back on a trailer go home it's not going to sit in the water and have that problem so it needs to be scuffed all the way down and uh ready to go so when the paint comes in i can uh, go ahead and paint it all right so here we are and we are going for paint job number two and here's what we're using for the uh, second attempt which is a topside paint which is exactly what he needed um, so that's what it is and let me show you what i got on so far So you can see, kind of, but you can see we got a nice, a much better shine to it. And that'll look a whole lot better. I mean, I got up in here, but this stuff's a lot runnier than the last stuff. I have to be really, really careful. Uh, but there it is. I know it's a little shadowy and, and whatnot, but and here's, here's what I haven't done. So you can see the difference where it's all dull and that's been sanded and everything like that. But Anyways, just wanted to get you a little bit of a glimpse on what I got going. You can see the difference between the two sides there. So, all right, I'm going to just press on with this, and then I'll bring it in a couple of times and just give you an update. You've seen me paint. You don't need to see it again. Here we go. Let's just uh, take a quick walk around. I did the uh, all the sides here. I have to go underneath yet, but <clears throat> you see we're starting to pick up a nice shine. Uh, this paint definitely goes on better. Still a little bit of an orange peely. I don't know if the second coat will help take care of that. The stuff's supposed to kind of flow itself out, I suppose is what they say. Uh, but this is the top side paint and you know has a much more glossy finish. But again, first coat, we'll see. Uh, you know, the, the gloss is definitely starting to come, come out. So I don't know. I like it so far. It's a... Uh, tricky it's uh it likes to run you have to be very careful other than that though it's coming out all right i'm uh i'm going underneath now at least i'll be in the shade <laughs> all right guys i'll see ya. see you when i come back up all right i'm back from the depths and uh first coat well 16 hour cure time I'll be back at it again tomorrow. And then hopefully uh, that second coat gives me what I'm looking for. 
<laughs> this boat's getting heavy with paint. All right, let's get uh, let's get at it again tomorrow. All right, well it's morning, and let's see if we can't get coat number two on here. It's still nice out. Hasn't uh, 90s haven't hit yet, so uh, now's as good a time as any to get this thing painted. Second coat, let's do it. Well, coat two is on. This is pretty wet still, but it's coming out pretty good. Oh, did you see that? Did you see the run? Uh, huh. No. No, I don't see any run, do you? No, I don't see any run. <laughs> okay, where were we? Oh, yeah. Okay, there's coat two. It looks pretty good. Starting to get a, a better reflection and a better shine. So, oh, get you up a little higher. Yeah, you can see the boat trailer and in the reflection okay you know back here is a little busy a little messy uh you know back at the boat the business end right all right there you go i'm going underneath now to finish the uh, bottom side for the second coat and then we'll let it sit again well guys we're gonna wrap this up i think uh I think there's no real need for me to pull it off of the uh, shoring that I've got uh, it up on uh, or showing you the touching up of the couple of areas where the shoring is uh, in the way. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I don't see any need to stretch this out any further than it, than it already is. Uh, I just wanted to bring you guys along, uh, you know, on me trying to figure out how to paint a boat. Uh, I think as the process went on, I started to pretty much figure it out. Uh, lessons learned. I think I would have liked to have gotten it up higher and gotten the uh, trailer out from underneath it. That was a major pain in the ass. You got to see it. You got to see what it looks like now. Uh, it definitely came out good. I like it. it. You know, it looks really good. I still like the other color better, but eh, you know, it's not my boat. Anyways, Ryan, it's done. Now you can come get it. <laughs> I'll see you guys on the next video, all right? Bye. <laughs>